Hi, my name is Rob. I work at Blue Link Tech, and today we're going to be going over the installation of the air scales. It requires no special tools. All you need for it are the air scales, a box cutter, and your cell phone. Let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is locate the height control leveling valve. Once you've located the height control leveling valve, release the air from the airbags. While you're doing this, you'll notice that there are two air lines located on the height control leveling valve. One of them is coming from the tank side. This is the wrong side to install the air scale on. What you want to do is locate the air line that's going to the first airbag that's in line. Once you've done that, find a spot six to eight inches away from the airbag, clean it off real good, make your splice with a utility knife, and install the air scale. Once you've installed it, rotate the sensor up, making sure that it keeps the condensation down. Now you've officially installed the air scale on your tractor. We're gonna show you a little different method though that would involve not having to splice the air lines if that's what you choose to do. I've pre-cut a two inch piece of line, airline stock, and I'm gonna be using that as part of the installation. Place the two inch line into the airbag. Install the air scale on the two inch line on one side of the T-valve. Take the existing air line, place it into the other side of the T-valve. And now you've officially installed the air scale on your trailer. If at all possible, remember to keep the sensor pointing up to help keep condensation down. If you find that the sensor on your trailer is surrounded by a lot of metal, which could cause interference, you may consider using the Blue Ink Tech extension kit. It installs the same way, and once it's done, puts the sensor more towards the front of the trailer. Next up is assigning the air scales. From the air scale page, in the lower right hand corner, select the green cog wheel. Select Assign, locate the QR code on the box, scan the QR code, then assign the sensor to whatever asset you've just installed it on. The final and most important step is the calibration process. The most important weight that you'll enter is the empty weight. Make sure you have an up-to-date scale ticket that provides the steer, the drive, and the trailer axle weights. From the air scale page, again press the green cogwheel, select calibrate. Enter the weights from the scale ticket and select either empty or loaded from the calibration screen. Enter your steer, drive, and trailer weights from the ticket. Save the calibration. Once this is done, you will then get a loaded scale ticket. Do the same process. You will do this two more times. Enter one more empty scale ticket and then a loaded scale ticket and the calibration process is complete. Thanks for joining us. For any further questions, contact Blue Ink Tech.